Now, if I write down a fraction like 5 over 4, some of you may think of this fraction as being called top-heavy. It's also known as an improper fraction, when the numerator is larger than the denominator. Okay, so when the number on the top is larger than the number on the bottom. And with working with improper fractions, you might be asked to turn this into what is called a mixed number. So to turn this into a mixed number, you look at doing a calculation of the top divided by the bottom. So you look at how many 4s go into 5, which is 1, remainder, 1. So the remainder gets put into the new numerator of a smaller fraction. So if you're confused at that, think of it this way, using short division. 4s into 5 go once, remainder 1. So this 1 is this 1 here, the large one here. The remainder goes here, and the denominator remains the same. And this is called a mixed number because it is a mix of a whole number and a fraction. So this is improper, and this is a mixed number. I should probably put in proper fraction. And that's a mixed number. So let's look at another one. So let's say I had uh, 13 over 5. So you can do 13 divided by 5, and you get 2 remainder 3. So the 2 is the large unit number, and the remainder goes at as part of the new fraction, the denominator staying the same. So 2 and 3 fifths. Let's go through one more. Uh, let's try something like um, 23 over 3. So 23 divided by 3, we get 7 remainder, well 3 sevens is 21, so we get remainder 2. So the 7 is the large whole number, and the remainder is the numerator, the top of the new fraction, with 3 remaining the same. So you can see that the denominators stay the same, and the other, the whole number and the numerator is based on the division, the whole number and the remainder. Okay, so that's how we can turn an improper fraction into a mixed number. In the next video, we're going to look at how we can turn a mixed number back into an improper fraction.